Hello designers, how are you all? It's me, AJ. Today I'm going to show you how to create a motion poster in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a part 2 video. If you missed the part 1, the link is in the description and it is also appear on the eye skin button. In part 1 video, I taught you how to create the same poster in Adobe Photoshop. If you want to learn that, please watch that video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do. First, open the Premiere Pro and then press Ctrl I to import the PSD file. After selecting the PSD file, press OK. Then select individual layer. Now we are going to place the images according to the lower to top. Remember, top images should be on the top and bottom images should be on the bottom. First, lower bottom, the background. Then, two maps part. Then the plane track. Ok now the plane vector image, now the second header text and the first header text. Now the plane, now the big plane. Place the shadow then the subject. Last but not the least, the logo. Let's just check the layer, now it's fine. Now I am going to group the subject lady with the shadows. In Premiere Pro we call it nest. Let me tell you in a brief about the nest. Nest is grouping the layers and its fun part is it's non-destructive. It means you can edit or re-edit this layer at any time. Like Photoshop, it is called Smart Object. Now we are going to use a preset for smooth animation. If you need the preset, let me know in the comments. I will give you the link. This animation looks good to me. Now we are going to make an animation on the big plane. But first lock the top layers so that you can select the plane easily. Set the key of the position in the mid. Now go back to the first position. Drag the plane. Drag the plane out of the canvas. Set the two keys is out and is in. Now we need to shake and bounce effect. Drag the plane a little bit further. It automatically set a marker. Then copy the second marker and place it here. Now duplicate the two marker pressing alt plus mouse left button. Do it very carefully. It takes time so be patient. Remember closer mark means faster animation. And placing the marker far means slower animation. Ok now it's fine. Let's go to the next segment. Lock the big plane layer. Select the vector plane image. Set the position key here. Now drag the plane behind the lady. It automatically set the key on the start position. Let's check the animation. Perfect. Now animate the plane track. Go to FX opacity section. Select a rectangular bar. In the rectangular the track is shown. Reduce the rectangular. The track is invisible. Set the key. Now increase the rectangular slightly. Again go to 5 frame by pressing the right arrow key. Increase the rectangular. Another key is set automatically. Do it again and again. Now unlock the logo and place the preset we used before. Now unlock everything and nest them all. Cut some extra footage by pressing C or Ctrl K. Press Alt and drag the nested layer to copy and, and place it to the next frame. Mouse right button then speed. Select reverse and 150%. Ok. Good. We need longer background for website info. Place the background again and drag it further. Press Ctrl T for text. Write the text and use some transition. You can press Ctrl D or go to Effect, Video Transition, Dissolve. So here it is my final output. That's all for today. What do you think about this video? Please let me know in the comment section. And if you think this video is helpful, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And what kind of video you want to know, you can also tell me and I'm always available in the comment section. It's a special video of this channel and I posted this video on every Monday. You can subscribe my channel and hit the bell button if you don't want to miss the update. And I also upload shorts in several times. You can also visit my channel and watch that video. So see you next time. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and most important, keep designing.